soon everyone in the world will have their own YouTube channel. Well, so. no, I think that's the general. It, YouTube is kind of like the public access for the world. So I want to create uh, a YouTube channel just for old people. I'm gonna I want to make a business helping octogenarians have a YouTube channel. Did you hear a click? No. I am tired. Uh, pardon me. I did it before by accident. I don't think that's a bad idea. I, I think you that just... might, I think that might be a good program where you, <laughs> me, a camera, a mic, go to a retirement home and help some octogenarians voice their opinion on the internet. Yeah, they each are going to have their own talk show based on one, their one thing. Take a nap many times as I can. I don't know just... how to do this. Did you hear a click now? No. If Millie just wants to bitch about her granddaughter, Millie can just do that on her YouTube channel. Well, well, why don't instead of giving them all the instead of settling them all with the responsibility of a YouTube channel, why don't we just give them a couch and a microphone and then they well, just we'll come see to where the couch? Goes, but I'm not above just making a YouTube channel for each old lady. Like I want Millie no. to have a show called Why. Janice is a fucking bitch. I don't hear it clicking, do you? Do you hear it clicking? No. Then there's something wrong. Why can't, why, why won't I take a picture? Are you excited for your party? Not one bit. <laughs> I, like I, that's, her, I believe, that's her channel. No, I want Millie to have that show, but what I'm saying is that your show... Welcome my... to Why Denise is a Fucking Bitch. I'm Millie, and I hate that bitch granddaughter of mine. She's trying to take my money. <laughs> she won't let me opening... have my cookies. Would that be the opening credits, and then the actual content would be just another <laughs> sentence? Well, there's a possibility every think, ep- that could be every episode because she probably won't remember that she even made that's an episode. That's why I'm already. saying it should just be a That'd be a great segment. channel. Every episode is the same exact thing over and over, but her with different clothes. Okay. <laughs> I waited, my friend. There's something wrong. You sound like a very busy lady. Maybe this is just devolved. And then one day pro- she dies. She's just dead. That's and then we weekend at Bernie's that shit. No, we just have a segment <laughs> where we wish Denise or Bernie. And then well. you try to seduce her family. Huh? And that brings us back to the beginning of this episode. And it's time to go. We've we're out of time. How about that? Dude, seriously, you are. Your, you know, rabbit dives out a hole and comes out and a bow is tied. That's what we got to try to do every time. Every time. It's an art. It comes. It comes with uh, making hours and hours of content. I hope to learn. With American Timelines. Uh, Anyway, we're going to leave for now because Steve needs his beauty rest. He's got exercise to do tomorrow while he's smoking pot. Are you going to ride your exercise bike tomorrow? I, I, I generally ride five miles a day, yeah. Whoa, every day? Well, six days a week. Does it ever hurt your taint? Do you have pain here? No. No. Your taint's in good shape, you'd say? I mean, for for the shape it's in, yeah, it's probably in good shape. Your taint's never sore? Do you have pain here? Oh, I don't want to say that. I have, I've had hernia surgery. Sometimes my oh, taint's that- sore. Oh yeah, your taint must have been rough for that hernia it, surgery. It was, it, I, like, I took my time in recovering. <laughs> This poor guy, just so all of you know, this poor guy started the pandemic on pain meds from hernia surgery. Basically, he had hernia surgery, and the pandemic became real while he was under the knife. And no, then he wakes I was, up. I was recovering. No, I like to say it this way. All right. Well, so he was ahead. under the knife. Pandemic started. He's got a bunch of, he's hopped up on pain meds. When he finally is back to life with the pain meds wearing off. He's like, what's happening? Uh, I haven't been in. I haven't left the house in, in two months because I've been on pain meds. I had hernia surgery. And then I told him, hey, nobody else has left in two months because there's a pandemic. That's how I tell it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not bad. The, the only difference between how you tell it and how I tell it is that I wasn't under the knife. 
and that oh. I said, "Hey, for my birthday, they gave me a plague." <laughs> so, it was your birthday, yeah, March tenth. Yeah. yeah, that's great. So, but we gotta go because Steve's got his hey, beauty rest again. You have your beauty rest too. Sometimes we'll just talk news. True. Other times, <laughs> but that's the end. But we're gonna now say goodbye. We've now said goodbye. This is the end of this episode. Turn this off. Goodbye. I'm going to stop this. I'm pushing stop. This is the end of this one. It's over now. We're not talking anymore. We're not saying any more words. Just drop your dress a little bit. You see your oh, boobs? Come on, stop it.